screen of my Hi guys. Eh? <laughs> Not me starting out with a face full of sunscreen. Guys, we're heading out for breakfast to find where I can put you guys that you won't fall down. Because if my camera has fallen down already like three times on this trip. This is my outfit. I'm gonna wear this cap. Um, I'm trying to just do my skincare. We will See. We are getting ready. When I get back, I'll do a room tour. I think I got one yesterday, but I'm not sure how good it is. So I'll tell them to clean the room while we're out for breakfast. Oh, I look like a real tourist. I look like a tourist. This is today's outfit. We are ready. You are already sunscreen, Abby. Yeah, I did. Everything is going to Let's go, girl. We ain't got enough time. Keep I'm going. ready. Let's take it out. Guys, let's see. We're going to sprint to the dining. Let's see if we actually miss breakfast or not. <laughs> Yeah! Wow, it looks so bright today. You guys are going the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie. It's really hot. <laughs> Breakfast closed. Is there anything left? Thank you.
Ghana should take this off and look for Mauritius flag. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now. Talk to you later. to the shop called Seaside. I'm gonna buy some bikinis and some scarves. Oh wow. Guys, <laughs> right, she just bought this literally and is wearing it right away. How much it cost? <laughs> we got we got some pieces. I'll show you guys when we get to the room. You're doing your tax receipts. Okay, so you're doing our tax receipts so that we can get tax back. I'm just trying to calculate everything. I just spent like two hours here. My hair is bizarre because I've been changing into like different outfits. But the clothes are they're actually beautiful dresses. I can't wait to go to the pool. I'm so hot. It's just so tired, so hot. Mauritius is pretty hot, but it compensates for the pool, the views, the beauty, the paradise that is this place. Mm -hmm. These glasses are lovely. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
also your departure date is? Um, Sunday. You know your flight number? Flight um, number. Let me check your ticket. Check your ticket. Oh, you can put it there. No, you can make it for Johnny. You don't put your information. And please, before you check in your luggage, it's going to be the account. You have to go to the counter. You have to do what? To, to the counter, counter for the tax refund. Okay, you have to do this check in. before yes. we check in. Before you check in. Keep everything on top. If they okay, want so to they can see. see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Why don't you guys show me every time? Because you're short, insane. so I have to bring down the camera to your level. We're all at six foot and she's like four, five nine. four two. Five nine. <laughs> we're supposed to have a complimentary massage, so we're trying to go to the spa now. Guys, it's so hot and I'm here walking, walking. People, things we don't tell you about vacations that like you spend half of the time walking. There's no cars. Am I just lazy or is it, is it just... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm looking so washed out with how tired I am. But yeah, we're going to the spa now. To see if we can get a complimentary massage. If we can, we will. If not, we'll just go back, change into our bikinis, then we'll come out for lunch, do some cocktails, chill by the poolside. We even bought some bikinis, which I'm gonna wear now. But when we get to the hotel, I'll show you guys, Sha. Just keeping you all up to date. All right. I want to show you guys what I got. This is a quick haul of what we got at the seaside shop. Guys, this thing cost us 700 and something dollars. I'll, I'll put the amount on the screen. But they say that we are eligible to... How much is it in tax? Did she write it on the, on the sleep? I don't know. 50% of the whatever cost. So the VAT is 3,843 rupees. 
I'm not even sure like the whole calculation here is mesmerizing. I know we paid seven hundred and seven hundred dollars and then fifty rupees. In Naira now that's like over a million. That's over a million? Anyway, she said we are having fifteen percent back is what we can get at the airport, right? Yeah, yeah so that means out of the seven hundred dollars we paid, we're gonna get fifty percent back. Yes. Okay, that's that's it, right? So anyways, I got this gown, which I would wear sometime in this vacation. It's just a really flowy dress. Guys, we got just four pieces of items. And I got this white bikini, which I think I'm going to be wearing right now. And then my sister got this crochet top, which was very expensive. But they said the crochet is handmade. That's why it's expensive. So this is it. And lastly, a black bikini. Guys, this is just four pieces of items. It's what cost. 700 700 and something so it's safe to say that one item is like 250k 250k bikini so the thing is you guys will say oh, this girl has money it's not that we have money is that we didn't think it was going to be that expensive then we already entered the store and we had gotten like we had picked a lot of items so we had to like cut everything down and finally, because we had spent so much time, we just had to buy something. So I decided to take two items, and my sister is taking two items. So it's not as if all this problem. We don't have money. It's just we were caught in a trap. Please, I have money. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, okay. To carry back her impression, mm -hmm. we have money. Okay. Okay, because I'm never going to claim we're Nigerians. We don't claim I don't have money. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because like, we have money. But I mean, the only thing is just, I just think it's a bit too exorbitant. It's exorbitant. Buying this. Like, we well, I love this. I love the... I mean, I love it thing. too, but we literally spent... And 700 it's handmade. 700 and something dollars for four pieces of clothes. Four four pieces of outfit. So we can just technically say one item is 250,000 naira. Like I'm one piece. You. And it's not like designer or anything. Like this it's is just, just local handmade. Local handmade. Stuff. I mean, I know we're supporting the locals and everything, but I just feel like it's so, a lot yeah. of money. So there's something about we have money and then there's like. It's too expensive. Spending, yeah, spending exorbitantly. Okay. So that's that's the difference. So not that you don't have money. Just clarifying that because in Jesus' name we have money. <laughs> <laughs> not me trying to be humble. Well, you guys have seen now. <laughs> and we have money, as she said. But anyways, that's what we got. We want to quickly change and go to the beach. Next time you next time you see us, we're gonna be at the pool. <laughs> My naked sister is here telling me to go and give her something to wear. So okay, let me sort her out and. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the beach. Ah. So I need a one piece. We're all ready for the jet, for the pool chop. I forgot what I was gonna say. But this is my bikini fit. You guys are gonna see when we get to the bikini. I'm just filling up my tote bag. I wanna refresh my braids because I didn't like how it was looking in the sun. So this is how I refresh my braids. I use this TCB hairspray. I actually got it in a PR package. I never bought this. Just I go ahead and get water. Doesn't matter. I just need it like refresh. Bloom is our scent of the day. Our beach scent of the day. I need some body oil. It's one of the pieces that my sister picked up from the resort. Mm -hmm. We are ready. We're going to the poolside or the beach. We're not sure, but we know we want to go to the water anyways. Because it's so hot in Maui. It's literally a resort in Africa. It's like it's so hot compared to other places where it's like colder. But it's like all the beaches and all that. Yeah. You have to be naked all the time. I love it. This is my real calling to just be naked on an island somewhere and everybody's wondering where I am. I'm out of office. Okay, don't send me no emails. <laughs> oh, I just had the sweetest encounter and I didn't get it on camera. So basically, a French lady was telling me that I'm Trebel, like I'm very beautiful. And I was like, oh my god, it's like you speak French, you're and I was like, oui, oui, on peut, on peut. <laughs>
sonrisa, ven y te quiero Dale, abrazame otro rato Déjame, te soy sincero Tiene tiempo que yo trato Lleva tiempo buscando a quien cantarle Sorry cuando me siento vulnerable Dale, abrazame otro rato Apapáchame la vida entera Like my lashes are flying off, but this is when it's raining. And it's Tell Chad it's all time. Anyways, guys, we're about to go for dinner now, so we just we're just quickly getting ready in the bathroom because we get to our room. We're not sure we'll come out for this dinner, so we just want to quickly dress up in the restroom downstairs and then go have dinner. And I'll see. We'll see what we do for the night. Probably just stay in chill sleep. But uh, yeah, that's our first full day in Mauritius. Mauritius. Do, 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 do. You know you have fun when your edges are lifting. <laughs> Like literally lifting. Oh, and then there's my other sister here on the phone on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. She's missing. <laughs> She's missing out on the phone. <laughs> what pictures are you taking? Um, it looks yummy. Why is so red? Day in the Radisson Blue. I was gonna say last day in Mauritius, but I still got quite some time here. But this is our last day at this accommodation. This is um, Radisson Blue Azuri. So I've already packed my bags. The girls have gone now, they won't have their fast. But me, I had to stay back and like do all the packing. So our boxes are packed. Ah, I'm gonna miss this place. When we came here, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I was not very impressed by here because we wanted the plunge pool, we wanted like a sea view, we didn't get a sea view, we just got like a garden view, um, we didn't have our private pool so I was a bit disappointed 
and also like it had this funny smell like everywhere kept smelling like like fish in a pond right but now that I've stayed here for three days I think I've gotten used to the smell I no longer it's no longer that bad anymore when I go here I was like what is that smell what is that smell oh yeah so but to see how much things have changed from then and now like I'm so comfortable here it's so comfortable here it's so cool the, they have we have an air condition we have a standing a ceiling fan so it's always cold all the time you know they bring us water coffee the staff are really nice especially those at the kitchen they are so nice even when you come late they'll still give you food they're always trying to like play nigerian music so you can feel comfortable you know the buffet is delicious like the food is that's the highlight of this place the food is so good even for a Nigerian, like there's so many things. There's rice and different types of sauces that you can use. There's fruits, there's desserts, there's ice cream, there's juice. Like there's just so much. Like the options are plenty and the food here is really, really good. So all in all, I would actually say that I recommend this place actually. I mean, for the price point, I think it's pretty fair. It's pretty decent. We had a good time here. We didn't misplace any item. We didn't lose anything. Nothing was stolen from us. Because you know there are places that you're actually lodging and maybe your phone will get missing or something will get missing i have a lot of things here i have my laptop my ipad my camera you know my lights money cash and all these things are really expensive so the fact that nothing was missing nothing lost everything is still intact that's big big ups to rats in blue and then the staff here they are really nice um except like one or two people which is just like you know normal personal human human beings you know but the staff here they are so very nice they're always asking what country are you from oh and one woman was like oh thread thread belly you look so beautiful and it's just like little things like that just makes it so good uh whenever we call for anything pressing iron we call for shaving kids the next five minutes they're at your doorstep so they are very fast with their service and they're very responsive as well when we asked them that our electric kettle stopped working they got us another one when we wanted to iron clothes they brought the ironing board so just little things like that that they just kept on showing up um for it's not like some places that you call them and you wait for like two days and nobody's answering you know they are at a beck and call um the light never went out for one second we had light all throughout our stay here um safety like i said is also secured the food is really really delicious so all in all i advise you like if you're not really so keen on the view like you don't want like a sea view or all of that good stuff please come here it's really nice here i enjoyed my stay here i'm going to go join my sisters now for breakfast and then we'll get the content and we'll move on to our next location which is a very exciting location i can't wait for you guys to see it i've been seeing like a lot of videos on tiktok i'm like i want to be here so i can't wait for you guys to see um the other location but for now our time here is slowly coming to an end so let's go eat and i'll see you guys later bye this is what they left for me for breakfast. I mean, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Apparently, oh guys, I feel like we're the only black girls on this island. I've been looking for people like us, but I couldn't see. I feel like we're the only black girls on this island. Sometimes I think about myself I wish I was somewhere else Far from my fear, anxiety Far from my weakness I could be gone, gone But I'm just afraid I refuse to fix the problem And I think I can carry on You can lie, you can try But you'd like to leave this we are about heading to our next location. Our oh, car just got here. Guys, you wouldn't believe. Oh, you wouldn't believe what's happening. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Thank you. Guys, I just broke my camera. Literally, when I went to breakfast and then we were shooting content, and my camera fell down and the lens broke. So, for the rest of the trip, I have no camera. I'm trying not to cry because literally it's the most painful thing. But yeah, I'm gonna be filming the rest of the trip with my phone and we'll see how much content I can get. I'm so pissed, but life must go on, right? That's how I put that big luggage. Oh, Thank you. If I go out in Maldives, Parliament. 
Nigeria are they fighting? You think it's just Nigeria this happens? <laughs> really holding the man. Your room number is one five one three. Yes, one, yes, yes. One five one three. Yes, only one room. Yes, only one room. Yes, only one room. Okay, it's this now. Yeah, yeah, so, sir, it's one five one three. Yeah, that's our luggages. How many luggage? Three. Three. Is it three one? Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, you're saying. Okay. Yeah, people literally put oil on their forehead oh. just so that they shine. Okay, they're glowing. Like literally. Mm -hmm. Am I glowing? Not even you. Like I'm asking. No, you're not. They're defeated. Hey. Like people will literally. Do <laughs> I know I did it, I still can't